Hi everybody, welcome to another little video tutorial. Uh, this one's a little bit different, you actually get to see me in it. Uh, you can see that little picture at the bottom. You can also, I think, just kind of slide that out of the way if you want. If, you, if it freaks you out, then I'm right there helping you with your math. For the last few days, we've been working at doing graphs, looking at rates of change, looking at slopes, and starting to get some equations. The last exercise we did, we looked at people weeding the garden and how long it would take them. We're going to look at how we can do that on a spreadsheet this time. If we look up here, we can read our question. So as we need lumber to make the frames around the raised garden beds, we hope to have 16 raised beds. The lumber store has told us that the lumber for each bed will cost $20. The lumber store also has a $50 delivery fee. Remember, this $50 delivery fee only applies if they drop the lumber off, no matter how much they drop off, whether they drop off enough lumber for one garden bed 5, 10, or all 16. The first thing we're going to do is put the numbers 0 through 16 in here. You can either type them all in, or what I like to do is type the first couple in, and then I drag them down, and I kind of see how many I got. There we go, we're up to 16. So you can either type them in, or you can um, drag them down. We need to think of our equation, or what is well, what is the thing we're trying to solve? Well, really, we want to find out the cost, and the cost is going to equal $20 times every bed that we create. We also need to add the delivery fee. We don't times the delivery fee by the number of beds. We simply add it to our total. So we have our cost equals 20 times, let me put a space in there, times the number of garden beds that we want, plus we add $50. So that's what I need to put in this cell right here. And I simply want to say the cost is going to equal, remember every formula on a spreadsheet starts with an equal sign, so it equals 20 times, and we do times in a, on a computer with the asterisk, so times the number of beds. The number of beds are actually in this cell. Remember, we refer to cells by their cell address. And this cell, if we look here, it's in column A, row 7. So I'm going to say times A7, plus I want to add the $50. And we've talked a bit about this before. Notice that my cost, even if I don't deliver anything, is $50. I'm going to copy this down my cost for one garden bed, so it's going to be $20 for the wood and $50 for the delivery. So what I want to do here is just actually copy this all the way down and we get all of our costs. Now I also want to make a graph for this. So I'm going to highlight what I want to graph. I'm going to the insert tab, or the insert ribbon, and I don't want to make a line graph even though that would make sense. I actually want to use the scatter plot again similar to what we did before. So I want to create the scatter plot. I want to add, and there's my graph by the way, so I've got this line. I'm going to talk about why it starts at 50 in a moment, and not at 0. So let's get our chart titles in there. So axis titles, primary horizontal axis. I want to display it, and I want it to say number of garden beds. My primary vertical axis, I want it to be rotated and I want this to display total cost in dollars. So I've got my titles there. It'd be nice if we could actually make this a line. And we've actually done this before when we were using our data unit. So I'm going to go to trend line. So again, I click on my graph, make sure I'm in chart tools. Sometimes I'm in design. I want to go to the layout trend line and I want to say linear trend line and it should put it in as a line for me. You might be thinking, why is this starting at 50 and not at zero? Remember this part here, this 50 right here is are fixed cost. So no matter what they bring, they're going to charge us at least $50. 
and that's why it starts here. Now we're going to have another term for that in a little while, but remember that it starts right here, and it starts when this y-axis, or in this case, the cost axis, or the number of beds is zero, that the cost already is 50. So here's what we've done. We have figured out what our formula is going to be, and we take the cost per bed, which is $20, we multiply that per bed, we then add $50. We made it into a, an equation that the spreadsheet can figure out by saying equals 20 times A7, where A7 is the number of beds that we're going to have, and we added $50. Feel free to look back, rewind, check this video out a little bit more. I think it will be helpful in, in helping you figure out how to do some of these equations and also to graph them. When we get done the other sheet, we're going to get back and redo some of those questions using the spreadsheet. So hopefully it's going to be a little bit easier for us. I will see you in class.